Okay, here we go. Hi, I'm Ann. Welcome to Quarry Farm Fridays with the Bluffton Public Library. Um, go to your library, get your book bundles, because this week we're learning about goats. Um, the goats we have here, and we have six goats here on the quarry farm. Um, Molly and Missy seem to be in another part of the facility, but here we have four new arrivals. They've only they've been with us less than a week here on the quarry farm. They are Nigerian dwarf goats. Um, they came to us because they were uh, pretty much eating the barn they lived in. Um, so they came to live here with Molly and Missy and everybody else. Um, just learning their names. This is Pongo, that's Pluto, and this is, who are you? Some P name, I can't remember at the moment. And this is Sochi. Sochi is a female. The other three are males. Um, Sochi has some skin issues, which we um, are going to get checked out. Sochi, uh, or actually goats are, you think here in farm country, you would be able to find um, a veterinarian that would uh, specialize in goats. Unfortunately, there isn't one, so if you are thinking of becoming a vet, please specialize in goats. Um, because right now we have to go to Ohio State um, to care for our goats. We have had other goats here on the farm um, that have lived out their lives with us. And we have made many uh, trips down um, to Columbus with goats in our car. Um, but. We hope not to do so soon. As I said, Sochi is going to go to the vet. But anyway, goats. Goats will eat just about anything. Doesn't mean they should. So um, if you are thinking of getting a goat, know that they will trim your trees. If you look at the base of this tree, um, they, they and the donkeys have worked it over. However, because of their their appetites. Goats are very popular now with um, lawn care and uh, builders because they will actually go out. Builders will hire teams of goats. Um, hopefully the person who is with the goats will bring them to the facility. The goats don't just show up on their own. But um, anyway, goats will just clean an area of all of the thistles and things like that and uh, make it nice and clean for building um, and you don't have to use any chemicals which is always a plus because the chemicals herbicides hurt the bees and butterflies and we don't want that so when we first got goats here we got them for that reason we wanted to curb some of the invasive species like russian olive so we got two goats and they cleaned it up pretty darn quick. And uh, so we fell in love with those goats and we started opening up the farm animal sanctuary to more, to more goats. Now, if you have a goat that you want to place, we are full up on goats now. We will not be taking any more, but um, there are are a lot of people who are interested in goats now because of what I just talked about. They are very smart. Um, if you look a goat in the eye, it will continue to look at you, unlike a lot of other animals. That, um, that makes them very nervous and they feel challenged. Goats will stare right at you and not break eye contact because they're trying to figure out what you're doing and they're trying to communicate that hey you should be doing this for me right now so um if you have a chance to have a staring contest with, with a goat i highly recommend it they're neat animals they're smart they are stubborn um just like we tell you every time don't uh, go out and get a goat just because you want to have a goat do your research go to the library, 
read about them, make sure you have the right facility to take care of them and know how to feed them. So thanks very much. We'll see you next week. We'll be doing Slimers and Crawlers. Go to the library. Bye.